The fourth and final operational level of translating this vision into reality is financial stability. I'm always thankful for SWU and the financial assistance it's given me because I was coming out of state to go to college and it was always really expensive and I never thought I was going to be able to go to college, let alone afford it. And so coming somewhere where it's so available and easy to get scholarship money and to get financial assistance was always such a great blessing for me through academic scholarships, through work studies that helped me pay off my loans was really great. And so now I'm graduating with less loans than I thought I would have. And so I'm always really thankful for SWU and the financial support it has given me. You know, as different colleges in this area, in this region, offer students their financial aid packages, many of them will include um, the loan amounts that they can take and say, see here, college here is completely affordable, more affordable than say at a place like Southern Wesleyan University. And that is because we believe it is unethical to even show a student their student loans, if at all possible. And when we do have to do that and a student requests that, we will only uh, do that after an assessment of their finances and their background and their ability because we don't want students to leave here in such a way that they are completely hindered and in some way are wearing educational handcuffs. This needs to be financially affordable for our incoming students. Uh, students, you know, in the past, and you see this in the news and the headlines today, they have been overcome by crippling levels of debt. So if you feel like the Lord is saying to you, you know what, this is a great vision. This is a great operational plan. This is something that I love. Please consider a one-time or a recurring gift to Southern Wesleyan University and know that I promise you, we will steward every single cent to the best of our ability to make sure it is serving the Lord and our students. And I thank you for that.